Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to part 21 of the Pokemon Heart Gold Gridlock. Yes, we are battling Elite Four for the first time. We beat Will in the last part. Yeah, we only did that. So it's gonna be five parts of us battling Elite Four and Lance. You guys pumped or what? No, I'm kidding. Um, we have our team, the same team. The team is in the, uh, the layout and they're pretty big. So I'm just gonna go in. We're gonna paddle Koga and See how things go from here. Wah! I am Koga, the Elite Four. I live in shadows, a complete ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Fwa ha ha ha. Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. My name's actually Landon. Whoa, where did he come from? And he leads with a Kabuto. Um. Let's just put him to sleep. <laughs> As we learned in the last part, uh, John Mayer, not that actually good. Not that actually good. What I meant to say is he's actually not that good. It's not that he's bad, per se, but you know. He hasn't really been able to do much to warrant the place on the team, honestly. Um, we don't have any grass types, which is the obvious way to go with a Kabuto. I really don't know what else he's weak against except fighting, which we also don't have. So we're just gonna... we're gonna... Dark Pulse him. And pray for the best. Worst case scenario, it doesn't kill him, he heals him. Good, it killed him. Okay, okay, good. Good stuff. So we got one Pokemon down. Let's see what he's got next. A Gastrodon. Man, he is loving these uh, water ground types. Let's think here. Is this our best option? I guess. Just put him to sleep and pound on him. That's one of the pink Gastrodons. He's got muddy water. Let's see how much damage that does and if we should be concerned. Um, yes, yes, we should be concerned. <laughs> Very much concerned. <laughs> wow, excuse me. We got water absorb, so yeah. Now, do you have water absorb? I don't think so. That gastrodon, like, jeez. I don't know if <laughs> Please. Thank you, fam. That's just what I needed. Some rain, so that way Surf is stronger. Koga, you're not very smart when it comes to using Pokemon that aren't poison types. Sheesh. Hidden power. That scares me a little bit. could be so many different things and I just I, <laughs> I don't have the brain capacity to figure that out right now uh, and the gastrodon held on great great this gastrodon scares me a little bit guys it's super effective the rain keeps falling he's probably gonna heal so let's just actually go for the serve one more time because we still have the rain up. Might as well make use out of it. I mean... Plus, I'm pretty sure we outsped. So it doesn't matter. It's like, even if he wouldn't have healed, we would have killed him. So... Meh. Now, if only we knew what type of uh, hidden power that was. Like, what a douchey move for a Elite Four member to use is hidden power. Because it could be fighting, which means, you know, we could switch out in the mess spread and be good. It could be like grass or electric, which means we're really screwed at certain certain moments. <sighs> that could be fighting. That could be rock, I think. Looks like we got a crit. Give me that neck. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. 
that Gastrodon, that was that was kind of scary to be honest. A uh, Beautifly, have you met Nia Jax? <laughs> I say it with the same inflection of have you have you seen what DeAndre did? Uh, we're just gonna go for a rock slide. Your bug buzz isn't gonna do much. And we gotta save some lava plume PP, so. Meh. We'll rock slide. And man, I must say, I hate using slow Pokemon. Because it worries me the whole time that I'm gonna die. A Whiskash. Another water ground type? Ugh. Um. Technically, I mean, I guess we'd send Gilmore out there, but we're gonna send Fair out there. Fair hasn't gotten much screen time, so. And you'll see why when his moves pop up. Or is he water electric? Yeah, so he's got Confusion Rest, Swift, and Brine. So if you're a real big fan of uh, Mesprit and wondering why he hasn't been out there, well, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> why? Because, you know, normally this is a muck, isn't it? <laughs> you know, uh, that's, that's kind of nice. Kind of nice, not even gonna lie. And now he's asleep, so... Just going with the all-out offensive. I mean, we got the black sludge whittling him down, too. He's got Snore. Oh, that does nothing. Okay, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, this is ridiculous. For a randomized, like, Pokemon, he's got an oddly coherent move set. But... Oh, he confused him. I just really hope he doesn't use, like, a full restore on it. There's no way he counts this as his ace, so... Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Not bad, guys, not bad. Okay, okay, a lot of hosts. Mm. I guess the only answer for that is Gilmore, right? That's the whole reason I brought her was because I was like, I need dragon coverage, so... Kind of weird to be sitting on this the whole time, though. You've been counting... Yeah, it does seem like you've been counting on this one, because the rest of your team kind of sucked. But, I mean, that Gastrodon was pretty scary. So we're definitely going to have to heal after that, um... I just can't remember if Latios is part psychic or not. Oof. Yeah, so we're just we're gonna heal up. I mean John Mayer over there with three health. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Another Zen headbutt. So long as it's not a crit, we should be good, right? Yeah. Even if this one is a crit, it should be good. And I just want to remind everybody that we lost him a champ to an Illamise. Wow. Excuse me? Can, can, can we math for a second here? Okay, so. I did what, like 50 damage the first time? I did like 130 the second time. As I was about to say, we lost him a champ to an Illamise using Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt is like my least favorite move now, because that thing messes you up. But I think what we're going to do is next turn, we're just going to use Ice Shard, because I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little scared here. Uh, Luster Purge. Our special defense fell, but that, that's okay, because Zen Headbutt's a physical attack. So maybe we'll get lucky, Ice Shard will kill. Please? Please? Hmm? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, guys, we're not doing too bad. Gain some experience. <clears throat> Proving your worth. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go into the next room and put your abilities to the test. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's heal John Mayer. <laughs> he almost got blown back guys 
Yeah, if you're wondering why we're using super potions, we're not in battle, so we got unlimited time. Might as well make use out of what we got. Because you figure after this, they're not really going to be worthwhile anyway. Look, everybody's health is almost... Well, everybody's health is over 100. So it's like in the middle of a battle, a super potion isn't really going to be the best choice. So, meh. Plus, we'd rather make sure we have enough hyper potions later on. Because say we go down to the last battle and we're like, we need one more hyper potion and we don't have it. And then we lose because we didn't have it. Okay, guys. Let's continue on. We got two Elite Four members down. We got three more to go. And no, I'm not really bad at math. That's how the math works. I'm Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme. That's how I believe in our potential. That is how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in you, you look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, mother up, don't ask how I got your name. You will bow down our overwhelming power. Hoo My name is Jessica. Okay. A gabite? That's not too scary. I mean... Let's, let's put it to sleep first. He's gonna use dig. I mean, we know he's digging. Do we want to switch him uh, to uh, B -B -B Gilmore with that? No, we want to switch him to Shucky. So that way that attack is moot. Yeah, well, let's, let's see. Uh, oh, you couldn't get me. We're gonna use extra sensory. Uh, basically, we just kind of... We're gonna try to wall it out, I guess. I mean, we know it's got dig, so it can't really hit us there. See how much this dragon claw does. 36. Yeah, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned at all. We got a team made for this. I mean, nobody's weak against dragon on our team, so. Now, I believe he's gonna heal. So we're gonna use his turn to switch to Gilmore. And we'll just slap him in the face with a nice meme. Yeah. <laughs> pro plays, fam. Pro plays. I'm gonna go with Ice Shard, actually. Because he's either gonna keep going for Dragon Claw, which shouldn't do that much, or he'll use Dig. And if he uses Dig, then we're gonna waste our turn. So. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. An Ivysaur. Um. We'll, we'll play it safe, we'll switch to Shucky Ducky, quack quack. And I guess we'll go for extra sensory, I mean, technically we could go for fly too. But we'll go with the extra sensory just for the, uh, immediateness of it. Immediateness of it, that does not seem like it's a word, but it's gonna be a word today. He held on. Oh no, we don't have pressure anymore? This is ridiculous. How is Chucky going to sleep tonight? Well, he's going to kill that Ivysaur, that's for sure. Hashtag bars. Spirit tomb. Ooh. <laughs> what is our strongest move? <laughs> um, can I... Yeah, I can see a summary. I mean, he's good in both defenses. So, um, so we got like a hundred and nine. We can't leave Shucky in there, though. We know we actually we know his move set. He's got dark moves and ghost moves. So, um, let's send Gilmore out there. Um, the reasoning. I really don't think he's going to be able to do too much. I mean, he should... He won't have Dark Pulse, but his moves shouldn't be that good anyway. And Ice Beam with Stab, I mean, it, it should at least do half his health, right? No? His special Attack's going up, but keep in mind his only special attack is, um... Ominous Wind. Yeah. Let's see how much that does. 
Not too bad, but he's not gonna heal. I shard him down. Sit down! Gilmore coming in clutch here, I must say. Okay, okay. A Jirachi? Do I have just the Pokemon for that? I like to call her Naya Jax. Can't believe you're sitting on a Jirachi. Like, really? Gravity? Okay, so that means the Jirachi's on the ground now, right? Which means that Earth Power. Oh, we get the burn! Ooh, but Earth Power is the better move now. So, you can sleep all you want, you're going down. Look at that Earth Power. I don't know if Jirachi normally has a Levitate or if it has uh, pressure. Or maybe it has like Serene Grace. I don't know, because. We're not losing PP as fast as we should be. So, it doesn't matter though. I'm better safe than sorry. It's always super awkward when you go for a ground move on a Pokemon that has Levitate. So, eh. Okay, okay. <laughs> no Poly Toad. Okay, okay, we'll, uh, we'll send Fair out there. Just that way Fair gets some screen time. You just don't want any one Pokemon getting too much versus others. Yeah, um, yeah, you'll be fainting soon enough, don't worry. That's not... oh, because it's a crit. Oh, screw you! Come on, in the Elite Four, you're using Swagger? Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, Farrah's not confused like that. She's like, I know who I am. And you had a citrus berry. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I guess we, I would assume Let's send Helix out there. Helix hasn't been used, and apparently Polito just doesn't have any good moves, so. Hyper Voice, I think? Helix resists that, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, um. I guess we just wait it out, right? <laughs> I'm just a little concerned that he uses, like, Surf or something, but. That'd be an HM. You'd have to use something weak. We heal somebody else then. Uh, we'll heal Killmore. <laughs> the Elite Four using Parish Song. Oh, what happened to Politoed? Oh my God, man! Why, why did your Politoed die? I don't understand. Oh, cause you used Parish Song like an idiot. Yeah, yeah, you're not too good at Pokemans. Okay, okay. So, we have two more battles left, right? And I want to say we got plenty of time. So, let's just do it. Let's just do it, guys. I don't remember when I started this video, so... Repel's effect wore off. Oh no! Um, I'm Karen of the Elite Four. You're Mudlop? Oh, I'm using I love dark types. I'm known for my overpowering tactics, like using Parish Song. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. My name's actually Marshall. Sorry about that. Okay, okay, um... First turn, always hypnosis! <laughs> John Mayer's a good lead, but... Come on, John Mayer! That might have been a bad play. 
No, it wasn't. Okay, good. Quilvich is a water poison type, so he's weak against Psychic, and little does little Miss Karen know, we have a couple Psychic types on our team. So, well, we gotta send a Shucky Ducky Quack Quack out there, but I went with Fair. Fair, his, her usefulness is much more situational, so it's just better to send her out there when we have a weaker Pokemon. So, eh. A muck. When you guys think about this, okay, we're a psychic type, and she just sent out a muck, which implies to me she has nothing good. So, eh. Oh, confusion didn't didn't didn't, eh, didn't do more than half. Oh no, her defense rose. Eh. Yeah, crit, please. No. Means she'll probably heal. As long as she doesn't get poison, we're fine. Yeah, she's gonna heal. That's that's fine. I mean, it wasn't like we were gonna kill it soon anyway. I mean, I don't know, guys. I must say this Elite Four has been comically easy. I think that's generally the problem with randomizers. Because most of the time, the Elite Four you battle. They're really not set up well. Which is weird being as, you know, you'd imagine they'd be better because the whole having uh, Pokemon of different types. But generally you get things like this where, I mean, it's a muck. Okay, we're hurt by poison. We have to pull Fair out of there. A Toxic Croak. See what I'm saying, guys? She might have a full team of poison types. Now let's see, Toxic Croak is bug poison or is he poison fighting? I don't know. We're gonna fly. If I could remember if he was poison fighting or bug poison, I would have went with extra sensory if he was fighting poison, but. Now I know flying types wreck Toxic Croaks, so. Nasty plot? Yeah. And I guess we'll just go for an extra sensory just to finish it off. Yeah, so she's not putting up any fight whatsoever. And that's kind of sad. But, meh. Shucky grew to level 50. Punishment? And its attacks, power increases the more the foe is powered up with stat changes. Meh. Doesn't come in handy in uh, offline. Kabutops. Eh. Technically, we could switch out, but it's like Surf should do a decent bit. I mean. Oh god, Ancient Power. I didn't think this through very well, did I? That's it? We don't really have anything better to, to fight it with, so. Meh. Keep surfing, I guess. I love how all the aces have freaking citrus berries. I'm like, really? Screw you? As long as Kabutops doesn't get a stat boost, we should be good. I'll switch to extra sensory, see how much it does. Because it might be resisted, but I don't think it is. It should actually make it stronger than surf. Ancient power, she's probably gonna heal. Which means we should be able to get another attack in. Oh no, she isn't going to heal. She's really rolling over and just giving us this W, isn't she? Did she already heal something? I feel like she didn't, but... And a Magmortar. I guess we send Helix out there. I mean, huh? We could really send anything out there, I guess. It looks like you're backed into a corner. Plot twist, she got that pro uh, self-destruct Magmortar on her team. Yeah, that's a 20 <laughs> You are so screwed. Wow. 
<laughs> You're not gonna get ahead anymore with the full restore. I'm sorry to let you down. But whoo. Ah. Oof. Let's finish it off. So that's the Elite Four, guys. I mean. The question is, do I just stop here? Leave Lance for the next video? No, I said we fight Lance here. And then, while the credits are rolling, we'll... Shut your mouth. We will... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't think right now. I'm just blown away by how easy she was. While the credits are rolling, I'll do my outro, and then we'll end the video like that. We'll set up our new squad, and then that'll be the next video. And I'll have a whole bunch of grinding, so... Mm -hmm. So I'll have to be, like, level, like, 55. <laughs> so... Mm -hmm. Gridlock has its advantages, I guess. Yeah. So let's do this thing. Okay, guys, all we got left is Lance. We're healed up, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, okay, we're healed up. What's the worst he can throw at us? I've been waiting for you, Mudlop. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words. Now we will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as Pokemon League champ, I, Lance, Dragon Master, accept challenge with my masquerade. My name's actually Pi. Whoosh. And of course, he leads to something we can't beat with John Mayer. <sighs> this is starting to become a uh, reoccurring theme here, isn't it? Earth power? It's not gonna be that strong. Nido Queen's kinda weak, isn't she? Oh good, special defense fell. Oh, even better! Our first uh, hypnosis missed! I think we just died. No, we didn't! <laughs> John Mayer, man! Whew. So the question is, do we go with water or do we go psychic? I mean, she's shown... Earth power. She can't go Helix. Uh, what's Fair's ability? Levitate? We'll switch Fair. <laughs> I told you guys, Fair only gets in there in specific situations. Sleeping Pokemon might not be able to hit her. Perfect. We're gonna send almost anybody out there for this. But this is Fair's time. Body Slam. I'm not too concerned about that. And of course, you get the Lucky Paralysis, though. And right, we'll go with Brine. I mean, a crit would have kind of been nice in that situation. Okay, so he's probably gonna heal this turn. So, let's get a Paralyzed Heal. Bust that Paralyzed Heal out. So that way we can actually attack this turn. You gonna heal? Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> but remember, we do outspeed. So, let's switch back to Confusion. If we would have been slower, I would have went with Brine. Being as Brine does more damage if you're under half health. As long as we don't get paralyzed, we'll be under half health. And then... <sighs> we don't know if, we're, we're, if we would kill it, so it's, it's not... I'm sitting here like, well, we could Brine it! But if it survives, then... You know... You figure Confusion gets stabs to 75 power, Brian is 65. And other math, it might not be worth it, is what I'm trying to say. And of course, you get the paralysis now. You're cool. It's okay, guys. It's okay. We're taking Lance down. And I mean, we'll just keep going with Confusion. Okay, so one Pokemon down. I don't know if Lance had a full team or if he only had five. If he has a full team, then yeah, we're, we're, we're okay. But if he has five, we're in a good spot. A Cricketune? 
I got just the Nia Jax for that. Cricket Tune's just bug, right? I don't think it's bug flying. He's got a full team, so that's a thing. Let's go with Rock Slide, just in case he's bug flying. I mean, what? With Jesus Christ, Cricket Tune. I was not expecting to do that, Ma. What? Excuse me? Does somebody feel like explaining this to me? You know what? It's a physical attack, isn't it? Rock slide? So, that would explain that. Let's switch to Lava Plume. Yeah, taunt me, fam. Come on. Come on, you really think I'm gonna fall for that taunt? I don't remember what taunt does. Is that the only one where we can't use the same move twice? Yeah, there we go. Cricket Tunes down. Nia Jax coming in clutch like she did at WrestleMania. A Torterra. I say bring it on. Bring it on. He outspeeds us? <laughs> what? Come on, Nia Jax. You can do this. Oh. oh Nia Jax! Okay, okay, that's not bad. We can heal. We can heal. Oh, look at that level, though. 57. <sighs> but remember, a special attack went down. <laughs> Giga Drain. That's way weaker, and a special attack went down, so... Yeah. Um, crunch. <laughs> He's, like, switching through all his moves, like, there's gotta be something in here that's gonna do damage. And that one did, like, 50? 60? Something like that. So... Citrus Berry on it. That's cool. That's cool, so I'm gonna heal. <laughs> No use putting ourselves in extra risky situations. Just saying. Might as well heal. Right. Crunch. We don't want to get crunch trapped. We've, we've been in this situation before. Where we keep getting crunched and then special defense... Well, our, our regular defense goes down. And then we lose Pokemons for it. I think that's how we lost Bronzong. So that's... There we go. Nia Jax took down a Torterra. That's what I'm talking about. A Walrine. <laughs> I just love looking at our team. Dead. <laughs> Paralyzed. Um, a Walrine. <laughs> I don't even know what to send out there. We, we send out Gilmore because they won't be able to damage us, right? It's the pro play. I mean, we got body slam. Let's see how much body slam does. Because Ice Fang, we should resist it a bit. Yeah. Again, I don't think he can do much to us. So, what we might do, and I know this is boring to watch, but it's a situation where we might, we might just heal up. That way, if we have to switch out, later on, and like John Mayer, who's just about dead. We don't have to worry about that. I don't know why we didn't get any full restores. I guess I just kind of blanked on that one. And I'm sorry for that. Yeah, he just keeps going for Ice Fang. So, things aren't looking too good for uh, Mr. Lance here. I really hope his Lance is a Masquerade. That his Ace is a Masquerade. I said Lance, didn't I? Come on. And let's heal that paralysis. Yeah. <laughs> it's just trying its heart out. It's like, die! Die! And we're just like, heal the rest of the team. Uh, we'll just keep body slamming, I guess. I mean, this part might be kind of boring to watch. I'm sorry for that, but... We don't have, we don't have any fighting coverage, so we can't hit him with that. We don't have any electric coverage, 
We don't have any grass coverage, so we can't hit him with that. We don't have... We don't have anything super effective against him, I think. I mean, he might be weak against uh, Rock. Might be. I'm not too sure. You were sitting on rest. Really? Um... That actually kind of makes me mad. Because we don't have anything, like, overpowering. Let's just send Nia Jax back, back out there, right? He'll be asleep, so... The question is, he is Wall Run, we can... He's got Snore. I just love these pro strats. It means he's got Rest, Snore, and, uh... Ice Fang. So, I mean, I don't see a water move there. I mean, let's see how much Rock Slide does if it's super effective. It is, but it didn't do that much. Let's switch to Earth Power, and it's got Blizzard. So, we'll resist that. Really, he can't do much to Nia Jax. Uh, This wall rhyme. I mean, we can't send Shucky out there. I mean, literally, like, our only option is to wall it out with Gilmore. Let's send John Mayer out there, see if he can do any damage. I mean, technically, we can, we can play Douchey and just... Or you can hit Blizzard again. Okay, um... Really? That actually really irritates me. Because all you're gonna keep doing is resting, and we're gonna have a never ending battle of you resting. And he hits Blizzard again. Is Blizzard a 100 accuracy move? I thought it was like 70. So, why do you keep hitting? I, I don't understand that. Am I stupid? Or is the game just giving him like unfair luck, so that way he can overpower us? I don't, I don't understand. We don't have that much PP on Body Slam, so we're just gonna switch to Ice Shard. Cause, yep, I figured that's where he was going next. He's gonna rest, be a douche like that, and we're just gonna have a really long battle of me healing. Him resting, snoring, and then me healing some more. Until we run out of PP, I guess. I mean, there's really nothing else we can do. I mean, Shucky is weak against the ice, and he's hitting all of his blizzards for some reason. So that's a no-go. Fair won't be able to do anything to him. This is ridiculous. And then that leaves us, what? Amistar, which very well might get blown back by an ice move. I don't know. I mean, normal effective ice moves is killing everybody. So... You just don't know. You don't know. We, we've got no options. So, I'm sorry if you guys don't want to see Gilmore walling a freaking wall right now. But that's just what we're going to have to see. Until he runs out of PP and starts struggling. Because uh, Rest is 10. I think Snore is 10. So, Blizzard has 10. And then Ice Fang is 25, I think. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry guys, this actually just really irritates me. Because it's like, this is the Elite Four. He got lucky and hit two blizzards. The one was a crit, so naturally, you know, it's gonna blow my entire team back. And 
And now I, I pretty much just have to wait him out, because he's just gonna keep resting. We don't have anybody with, like, disable or something. So, we don't have any options. It's either Gilmore or it's Fair who's gonna have to do this. And at least Gilmore resists. I mean, if that's all I can do. This is ridiculous. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna do that. I was gonna say I might fast forward through this, but there's no point. Er, there's just no point. This is absolutely ridiculous. Because now, if we start using other moves, we're gonna run out of PP. So thankfully, Ice Shard is like 30-some. 30, 30, I think? Yeah. Because if not, we'd be running out of PP right now, we'd be, we'd be struggling. We would literally be struggling to beat him. Come on, just use rest. This isn't even strategy. Mm. Just, yeah, keep using Ice Fang. Sooner or later, you're gonna run out of PP on it. I can wait here all day. It's 11 p.m. Yeah, I have work in the morning, but I don't care. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you got a crate? You, you, you think you got me beat? You think you got me beat? Here, let me use a Cyber Potion. I'll admit it, okay. Losing Nia Jax, and even when we got Nia Jax, I said, this is a death statement. Every Pokemon I named Nia Jax dies. So it was like, I knew it was coming, and it was me making a new move. I'll admit that. But losing Spiritomb to another Blizzard that had the hit, and then he got a crit on top of that. That's bull, okay? It's bull. And now I just have to sit here and wait for him to wake up. Because we can't do any other moves. This is ridiculous. Do we have any ethers? No. What does energy powder do? It restores HP. So yeah, we, we've got no answer. None. And he's gonna keep using Snore, because the AI is smart enough to use Rest and then Snore. Ridiculous. Yeah, waste another PP for Snore, please. Get the Paralysis. Let's use Body Slam again. Yeah, and you're gonna Rest. Good move. Good move. Pro play. Pro play. Mmm, bravo. Bravo, you piece of crap. There's a helix out there. Because we have hidden power, uh, not hidden power, ancient power. And Snore isn't going to do anything to us. So, and we can lose helix. It doesn't offer anything at this point, except for uh, that rock move. But we're going to run its PP out, so... The annoying thing is we have to be legitimately concerned that if he wakes up and uses Blizzard, he's going to kill us. There we go. Oh, we got the stat boost. Oh, you piece of freaking crap. Lord Helix will not take any prisoners. Sit down. Did you see what DeAndre did? murdering half my team. Piece of crap. A Pidgeot? Yeah. Yeah, we'll stay out there for that. Hit him with the Ancient Power. Hit him with the Ancient Power. Yeah, you see those rocks that are flying for no reason? Now they're coming at your face, Pidgeot? You dare hold on? Naturally, you gotta use the full Resolver. Okay, whatever. We'll use Waterfall. And then we'll use Ancient Power again. <sighs> and 
<laughs> Why does Fidget have mirror move? No! Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Oh, I was so, so scared there. I was like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Okay, okay, and now it's masquerade time. Just set, send your masquerade out here. Come on. Wiggly tough. We thought this would never happen. Check out these flying rocks. Can we that stab boost again? No? Okay. Doesn't look like Wigglytuff can do anything to us, so. Hmm? Let's surf all over the Seder. We did it. We won, guys. Whew. You have become truly powerful, Mudlop. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you'll continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. What the f was that? The flying kitty was that? And the first time we see this girl, like, I'm supposed to care. Uh, oh no, well, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you are so slow. It's the first time we've seen her. I, I I can't care. Um. Oh, Mudlop. It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Blah 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 blah. Come on, Lance. Escort me out of here. So, guys, we did it. Okay. And now all that's left for us to do is to do the other half of this game. So I think, being as that's all Canto crap, what I'm gonna do in the next video. It's going to be us making our encounters, using our fossils, aiming for good Pokemon in the uh, Cliff Cave, and after that, uh, I think we're just going to stop the video. Uh, uh, video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Shucky Ducky Quack Quack himself. But um, that's how we're going to do this. So when we're in Kanto, we're going to do shorter parts. We're going to kind of cut out all the excess crap if you will, like, we'll still, like, I'll show you guys me beating the Team Rocket Grunt, I guess. I mean, but, I really don't feel like doing all that excess crap. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a, a, a big old comment for our fallen comrades, namely Nia Jax. Camrupt, and then uh, the Spirit Tomb, John Mayer. We lost John Mayer, guys. It's it's getting very serious up in here. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, I'm Skillets.